Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will see how to model soil in SAP 2000 for soil structure interaction. So let's see. First, we will go to define soil profile so that we can get soil as material in our material properties list. Here we can see in materials here is no material named soil or no material available in soil material type so if we define soil profile add new soil any profile you add then here in material list there will be soil materials from here we can modify our soil material you need to add Poisson ratio coefficient of thermal expansion shear modulus here soil type rock sand or clay hard medium and soft soil cohesion here friction angle if we want to provide stress strain curve for our soil properties we can click on this then go to modify show material properties from here we can provide uniaxial nonlinear data stress strain curve here here we can provide values to create stress strain curve here we can provide data number 10 it will give 10 input cells to provide the data okay here we can provide material damping properties coupled nonlinear properties this we can provide here to modify our soil properties I am keeping default data with sand properties click on ok now I will go to XY plan here in base level I will remove support so remove the support close now I will go to define material here this one we can add copy mat a prime C concrete strength I'll keep same as it is click on ok ok now go to define section solid properties modify this one I'll model as mat this one mat we have defined click on ok add copy here we will write soil soil properties click on ok ok here I will model area properties with any section like this now select this one go to edit edit areas expand I will expand this one offset for mat foundation offset I will take one meter all side close this one now this one I will divide with the visible grids like this now for soil modeling I will replicate this one pick two points from here to here click on apply this one also click on apply now this side pick two point from here to here apply for this side apply and for this side click on 
apply okay for example our mat foundation thickness is 1 meter so we will extrude this area object to solid object with 1 meter interval now I will select the area object then edit extrude extrude areas to solids I will extrude with soil properties then I will modify properties for mat foundation 0 0 positive z direction so and we will go negative z direction so thickness will be 1 meter and number we can take 3 1 for mat foundation 2 for soil layer here we will first take the number of layer 3 layers total thickness will be 3 meter so that each layer will have 1 meter thickness here delete source object click on ok here I can see only this matte foundation solids show selection only here I can see this is our matte foundation this one I will select and assign solid properties this as matte apply here we can see our 3d model in section view okay here it is showing the matte foundation separately and this is our soil properties we can check our section properties matte here we can change the color for matte foundation for example this color for matte and soil color we can provide this color click on ok ok now you can see here this side solid and inside matte foundation now here we can click on show all now we will add grid line we will select these points edit point add grid at selected points here constant along x axis another one y axis now we can edit grid data modify here we can provide a prime here d prime here 1 prime here 4 prime and here we can add another here we can add grid along z direction to go to the soil bottom so soil is 3 meter so I will add this one z9 minus 3 meter click on ok ok now go to yz plan at the edge of the soil select intermediate joints except the corners then we will provide joint restraints this side select and go to opposite side also select here you can see this is along x axis so we will provide restraints along x axis that means translation 1 click on apply now go to x z plan here select 
the joints then come to this side select joints this time we will provide restraints along y direction or y axis so it will be translation to click on now we will select corners because corner corners will be restrained along both direction x and y direction click on apply and for soil bottom we will go to z minus 3 meter this is the soil bottom here we can select the joints and provide fixed support okay now here we have modeled our soil and support condition now we will go to solid meshing select solid properties mat and soil select go to assign solid automatic solid mesh here i will go for maximum mesh size 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter click on apply we can change our view from graphics also direct x this will look like this we will go to load combination load combination add new for serviceability dead dead load live load one we can add default design combination concrete frame design set load combination data strength here we have assigned response spectrum load case so we will remove static seismic load cases dead load live load response spectrum case those who have missed the tutorial on response spectrum analysis in SAP 2000 you can check that one available in my channel same this model I have done in the tutorial and with this model I have shown response spectrum analysis now this one click on ok ok now all this condition I will convert this to nonlinear cases because I have modeled soil here so we have to go for nonlinear analysis click on ok ok done now we can go for analysis we can see here deformed shape with dead load plus live load combination you can see here solid stress serviceability here you can see stress s11 s22 can go to here undeformed shape go to up here you can see here also
here you can select solid properties matte select show selection only go to 3d view here we can see stresses on mat we can see settlement of mat or deformation serviceability click on apply along z direction this one this one solids is one one we can see for design combination also so in this way we can model soil in sap 2000 and we can go for soil structure interaction thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming important tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update